Magma is once again moving underneath a volcano in Iceland. However, this time, the relevant molten rock is not moving underneath an effusive volcano such as Vygradolsviak, but rather an explosive volcano. This is occurring at the highly scenic volcano known as Torfajokul, which is located in south-central Iceland. Since mid-June of 2023, a patch of ground within its central caldera has been pushed upwards at a rate of 4 centimeters a year, with this uplift being triggered by an intruding body of magma. This is a serious threat in my opinion, as an eruption here could affect anyone on the island via causing widespread ashfall, and in a worst case scenario could even cause an air traffic disruption of greater magnitude than Europe witnessed in 2010 from the eruption of Eya Fjetja Jokotol. Here is why I believe this is possible. Although multiple factors can determine how explosive a volcanic eruption will be, generally speaking, the more silicon dioxide by percentage a lava has, the more viscous it becomes, therefore trapping more gas and resulting in greater magnitude explosive eruptions. To help display this trend, I have added various Icelandic volcanic eruptions to this total alkali versus silica chart. And now, I have added on the volcanic explosivity index of each eruption, with a higher VEI being more explosive. Note the increasingly explosive trend towards the chart's right side. As for the Torfajoko volcano, it erupts rhyolite, the most viscous type of lava. This composition of lava has produced almost completely solid obsidian lava flows on several occasions, the last of which occurred in 1477, generating the Lagrahan lava flow shown here. Even more worrying still, Torfajokul sits within a massive depression in the ground referred to as a caldera. This caldera measures 17.2 kilometers long and 13.7 kilometers wide, having formed in a series of Plenian and ultra Plenian eruptions of unimaginably large size in intervals between 600,000 and 50,000 years ago. For example, one eruption of this volcano approximately 55,400 years ago ejected 4.8 cubic kilometers of tephra, sending a superheated pyroclastic flow to scorch what little vegetation was present to a distance of a whopping 30 kilometers away. In other words, if such a VEI-5 or similar magnitude eruption was expected to occur from this volcano today, it could require as much as a 30 kilometer exclusion zone. Torfajokul during a hypothetical eruption would be far different than the tourist-friendly Fragradolsviak eruption where you could get fairly close to the lava flows without much issue. At the present, we do not have any confirmation what the depth, volume, or composition of Torfajokul's ongoing magmatic intrusion is, so the following will be purely speculation. The ongoing uplift is centered in close proximity to the site of a single rhyolitic eruption which occurred in 7000 BCE. Because of this, we can assume that the magma is also rhyolitic. Due to the magmatic uplift, an increased rate of earthquakes has been occurring in two sectors, one at the edge of the 7000 BCE eruption's lava flows, and two along multiple sectors of the ring fault marking the existing caldera wall. The ring fault earthquakes are likely occurring due to an increased strain being placed on what could be described as crustal weak points, causing them to slightly move. Thus, we are left with the earthquakes adjacent to the 7000 BCE lava flows, which are seemingly occurring at 1 to 3 kilometers depth. Underlying this volcano, the shallowest magma body before this intrusion began was presumed to be at 4 to 5 kilometers depth. Thus, I hypothesize that magma has advanced upwards by 500 to 1000 meters since the intrusion began, resulting in the increased rate of earthquakes. Although this is just a wild, educated guess, I suspect that the amount of magma involved in this intrusion is somewhere in the range of 30 million to 200 million cubic meters of material. As of August 16th, 2023, the alert level of Torfajokul is still at green. However, it would not take much for this volcano's alert level to be raised to yellow, likely carrying with it an exclusion zone, although this has not yet happened. Most magmatic intrusions do not result in a volcanic eruption as they often stall at depth, but in my opinion, if an eruption was to occur, it would probably register on the volcanic explosivity index as a 3 or 4. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.